I have been coming to China for more than 30 years. I have traveled across China, visiting over 100 cities with my long-term partner, Adam Jew, for research and interviews, books and essays, television and documentaries. Yet, as much as I thought I knew China, I did not appreciate all that is required for poverty alleviation until I visited poor villages and regions, especially remote mountain villages, and spoke with poor villagers. It was in 2013 that President Xi first proposed the concept of targeted or precision poverty alleviation. Targeted means standardized procedures and individualized programs to bring each poor family out of poverty. Five levels of local party secretaries coordinated their roles, provincial, municipal, county, township, and village. Third party evaluations were conducted regularly and randomly to ensure accuracy and honesty. I was startled to discover that every poor family in China had its own file. That's millions of poor families, each with its own customized plan each checked monthly and digitized for central compilation and analysis. Equally startling, local officials were dispatched to impoverished villages to manage poverty alleviation for two years or more. After China eliminated all extreme poverty, relative poverty was still extant, of course. And thus, President Xi set a broader, longer-range, multi-decade goal, common prosperity. My friends in China ask, why does the world misunderstand the party? The problem, I argue, is partly semantics, because the English word party connotes, in democratic political systems, a political party that competes in free and open multi-party elections, such that when a ruling party does not compete in free and open multi-party elections, that political system is deemed not democratic. This portrait mispaints the Chinese system, which is founded on a different principle, where the party is the ruling organization, not a competing political party. It is a dedicated elite from all sectors of society, consisting of less than 7% of the population, but tasked to represent 100% of the population. Thus, the party, as the ruling organization, is not the equivalent of a ruling political party in Western systems, where political parties represent only a certain group of voters and are time bound by election cycles. For this reason, the Chinese party, the CPC, has a higher and broader obligation to enhance the living standards and personal well being of all Chinese citizens. This includes reforms, rule of law, transparency in government public participation in governance, increasing democracy, and various freedoms, including freedoms of expression, and of course, human rights.